figure that the trader, the client, and P.K. Sinclair are all the same person, probably Faison's son, so we tried to make contact. You keep using the term we. Who are you working with? Sonny and Spinelli. Thought we agreed you were going to keep me in the loop. Yeah, it was just a theory. We didn't have any proof. Okay. So we, uh, we went to Anna because she has the most history with Faison, and she actually said she didn't have any idea that he even had a son, but she started looking. That's when Spinelli found an email account for Sinclair. We reached out. He replied. That's when Anna got back to us, and Obrecht confirmed that Faison had a son called Heinrich. Okay, so you're pretty sure that P.K. Sinclair and Heinrich Faison are the same person? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to set up a meeting because we wanted to use Heinrich to draw Faison out. Jason, did you know about all of this? And you spoke to us before our wedding? Yeah. And you chose to keep it to yourself. You said that you and Sonny were close to drawing Faison out, that maybe Sam and I should get the kids out of town. That's it. You didn't mention anything about Faison's son or how he might be connected to what happened to us. Well, when we had something concrete, I was going to share. Okay, so, so what happened with Heinrich? Well, I was waiting for him, and then that's when Carly called and said there was trouble at the hotel. Faison? Yeah, and you know what happened next. Faison shot Nathan. He was going to take Carly hostage, and I shot him. So it's possible that Heinrich showed up after you left? Mm, no, Anna was there the whole night. She said somebody might have been watching, but they never approached. And you could have let me in on all this, and I could have been there, and he might have approached me. Well, you were keeping Sam and the kids safe. Hey, what about that email address? The account? No, it's yeah. been shut down. Shut up. Okay, does anybody else have an idea how we can find this man? Well, he could still be in Port Charles because Faison said he's hiding in plain sight. And this came from a man you put a bullet in. He might have just wanted to torture you a little bit longer, have you chasing your own tail, running in circles, looking for a ghost. I'll let you know if I find anything. Truthfully this time, or...? We want to find Heinrich, we're going to have to do it on our own. So if we're not going to get any information out of Jason that's useful, we need to go directly to Anna. She was close with Dr. Maddox, he even gave her the flash drive. But it's not like he told Anna what he had given her. He put it in a Christmas ornament. She is smack dab in the middle of this. Faison's obsessed with her. She's the one who confirmed that Heinrich was his son. And she has WSB contacts. Yeah, I know. That's not the problem. I know Anna will help us. Okay, what's the problem? The problem is we'll be doing exactly what you said Faison wanted Jason to do. Run in circles. Chasing a ghost. Weren't you the one hell bent on finding Heinrich? I reconsidered. Okay, why? Because even if we find him and he cooperates, what's he gonna tell us? He doesn't have your memories. We need the flash drive and that is gone. Hey, I gotta do something. I know we've talked about this more than once, but I just can't go on living with Jason's memories in my head. I need to know who I am for both of us. I, just... I can trust the only memories that are valid over the last three years here in Port Charles. No, that's not true. You thought Kim looked familiar before you even knew she was a part of your life. No, that was like a flicker of some kind of recognition, maybe. And it was I know, but that, that should not have happened. If your memory was completely gone, you would not have recognized her any more than Jason did. And Faison said that the mind control wouldn't work on Jason because he had brain damage. And I don't, thank God. Exactly. So maybe the memory imprint didn't work because of Jason's brain, or maybe the process isn't as good as Andre thought it was. Either way, I believe that who you are is still inside of you. You don't need a flash drive. You can remember it on your own. <laughs>